All right, welcome back to Bug Fixes, where I take you through common web development bugs and their solutions. So today's error is around MongoDB and specifically Mongoose. And if you have this error, the error will say something like Mongoose error, operation blank, whatever the operation was, usually a model method and then buffering timed out after 10,000 milliseconds. So the reason I became aware of this bug is I was actually working with somebody that was encountering it and it's very non-obvious. And a big part of the reason that the cause of the bug and the solution aren't obvious is that this bug doesn't actually throw an error. What actually happens when you have this bug is that this operation in question just fails silently, basically. And so let's talk about what is actually happening here and then what the solution is. So what's happening here? In this case, we are trying to use a model method. So let's say we have a mongoose model, we'll call it users. And let's say we're trying to use a built-in method from mongoose. So let's say insert one, but that method is failing. So why is this failing? Why is this not working? It took me actually quite a bit of research to figure it out, but I found the answer in a MongoDB forum. So thanks to this person, Santi, he ended up giving what I believe is the correct answer, which is that Mongoose doesn't require you to have a database connection before you start using the models. What this means is that you can kind of develop a sort of race condition where you're using Mongoose models that haven't actually been connected to a database yet. According to Santi, the reason this happens is that Mongoose buffers model function calls internally. So it's convenient, but it can lead to this particular error or problem, which is totally different different than other ORMs. So for example, I come from more of the SQL world and I'm very used to SQLize. And if you're trying to use a SQLize model and a connection to the database hasn't been established yet, it's not gonna let you do anything. So then what is the solution to this problem? The solution to this problem is to ensure that your models are getting instantiated or brought into the app in the same place that the database connection is made and after that connection has been made. So I'll show you two examples just to be clear about what I mean. The first example is from Wes Boss's Node app and all this code is just up on his GitHub and I checked it for reference because I previously took this course and so I just wanted to see how he did things. And what you see here is he's actually bringing the models into the same file where this database connection is being made. But note that he's bringing them in and requiring them in after the database connection has been made. In our second example, you can see that the database connection is being made and all the typical express boilerplate is there. But then at the end, the routes are being brought in and then connected with the express app. And in those routes is where the mongoose models are actually brought in and instantiated and all that. So by doing it this way, we can ensure that the models aren't referenced before the database connection is made. So that is it. That's how I would solve this bug. That's how my friend ended up solving this bug that he actually had. And so I wanted to share it with you. I hope you found it helpful. If you're still here, you'd probably like the rest of my channel, which focuses on software engineering and self-employment. So consider subscribing. Regardless, thanks so much for watching to the end. Remember, stay hungry, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.